Hi, my name is Mira. I'm a sixth year Dutch medical student. In this video, I'm going to react to cells at work, episode 5, Cedar Pollen Allergy. For the people who don't know what cells at work is, it's a Japanese manga. It basically explains the human body in a fun and easy way, and it is pretty accurate. Two months ago, I actually reacted to cells at work, episode 2, and I asked the viewers if there was another episode that I should react to, and Hannah actually said that I should react to episode 5. So here I am. I'm really excited about it. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And let's get started. It looks like a ghost. There's the white blood cell again, always there to rescue the red blood cell, just like the previous episodes. I'm curious to know what it is. Oh, so certain immune cells like macrophages and neutrophils are able to engulf pathogens um, and uh, just destroy them basically. Um, so that's what he's doing by eating this pathogen. The medical term for this is phagocytosis. Oh, so he's eating pola. Pola, uh, I'm probably saying that really Dutch, I'm sorry, but um, people who are allergic for pola have hay fever. So you might have hay fever yourself or you know someone who has it in, in your surroundings. For me, I sort of have hay fever like in a really mild form because when I was growing up, I didn't really notice anything. But uh, like the last couple of years, I notice every time that's like around springtime that I have like watery eyes uh, and a stuffy nose. And people who have hay fever normally develop symptoms, of course, around springtime. However, some people already have symptoms in January. Oh, so memory cells, as they're saying right here, are lymphocytes that retain or white blood cells that retain memories of pathogens. So the first time that your body sees a pathogen, it will um, attack it and remove it from your body. Then your body will develop memory cells. So the next time that you have the same pathogen, then your body is ready uh, to um, attack the, the same pathogen. However, this time it's like way stronger and way faster because you already have memory cells against that pathogen. Those pollen look that ghost. I can't take them serious. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> Those pollen are not even able to walk. How can they harm anyone? Honestly. The B cells. B cells are producing antibodies. 
there are different types of antibodies. Some antibodies are stronger, for example, for bacteria who live, for example, in your stomach or in your throat. Others are stronger, for example, to uh, fight against parasites. Antibodies can do different types of things, but one of the things they can do is they can sort of tag the bacteria, for example. Think about it as sort of a flag. They can cure the bacteria, sort of. And other type of immune cells are able to see that bacteria with that flag on top of it. And they're going to eat that bacteria. So as we learned, phagocytosis. And it's easier for an, a white blood cell to do the phagocytosis when they're sort of tagged with the antibody. <laughs> So there you can see EGE. EGE is one of the antibodies, um, and this one is specific for uh, pollen as well. It looks like they solved the problem, but I just know that something's going to happen. I just feel it. Something's going to happen. It was way too easy. こんな数値私初めてだわ。マスト細胞、肥満細胞と言われている過剰に作られた IgEの刺激に反応してヒスタミンやロイコトリエンなどの化学物質を分泌するヒマン細胞と言っても肥満とは関係ないそろそろヒ
だけだもんてめえのせいだこんにゃろマニュアル通りの仕事しかできないのかよ肥満細胞<笑>その名前で呼ばないで B 細胞の B はバカの B で組む放棄は許されないそれが俺たちの宿命宿命宿命Well, what's that? She literally just pushed over the white belt zone, but okay. It looks really high tech. Mokyo, Saibo, Kakunin, Aijo, Shimas. What? 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 w あいつの名はステロイドだ Oh yes, steroids. So steroids are basically suppressing your immune system. So it's logical that he's attacking the immune cells. However, it has a lot of side effects. So that's probably why it's like destroying also other things. So in the Netherlands, we usually give antihistamine for hay fever. And most of the times, uh, like a nose spray. Or tablets, so like oral tablets, and also、uh, steroids, but only no spray steroids. Steroid, it's a hormone, 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 it's a So that's the end of the episode. I felt like I was only watching it for five minutes, although each episode is 20 minutes. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I felt like I'm still learning a lot of things from these episodes. If you haven't watched Cells at Work, go watch it. It's really, really amazing.、Um, I feel like even if you are a medical student, you can still learn a lot of it. And also, it's really entertaining. So, yeah, go watch it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned something from it. I love reacting to those videos. So, if you want me to react to another episode or another series, then comment it down below. And also, comment down below if you have hay fever. I'm really curious about it. So, yeah, comment down below if you have hay fever. I hope you've liked this video. So, if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to watch more videos from me. Bye. I'm sorry if I'm really sweating. Um, it's currently 35 degrees in the Netherlands, and in my room is probably, I think, I'm not lying, I think it's 40 degrees. It's so hot, and I closed the window. I know I'm so stupid, but otherwise, you couldn't hear me. And also, there's not a lot of cold wind coming from outside, so it's not like I'm missing something by opening the window.、Um, so, yeah, so I'm sorry if I'm like really sweaty,、uh, but yeah, the Netherlands is. 35 degrees. Can you believe it? I can't believe it.